Welcome back, my fellow disc golf fans, to the 2024 Truckee Hula Bowl at the Truckee Ri River Regional Park, located in downtown Truckee. Lead card, final round, final back nine here. My name's Brian Rio Frio. I'm doing the commentary here, born and raised up the street. All right, Will Ling from Reno, Nevada, rated 1,000. Kid's a shooter, left hand, backhand, back. He's got it all. He's got all the shots. The kid's a stud. Andres coming from Ontario, California, 960. He played this course blind, and each round we moved baskets. So each round he played even more blind than the last, which is pretty exciting to see him on lead card. Quinn Berkovitz, Rito, Nevada, rated 989. Kid barely plays and is shooting out everyone. Crazy kid. Ryan Bain, State Line, Nevada, rated 956. Kid's a stud, he's always got his family out with him. Awesome family, awesome folks, awesome, awesome kid. Dustin Avenger, favorite disc golfer, one of them right here, sketch. All right, after, not, after 10 holes, after 10 holes, we got Will Ling at 22 down, one down on the round, wasn't playing his best. Uh, Quinn actually got two, is now two back from him after being five back from him in the beginning. Um, so we got a little, uh, we got a little competition here. We also got Dustin at 18 down, Alex jumping up to 18 down. Shout out Ashley Conley, everyone. She's the reason why we're out here. All right, hold 10, part three, 275. This one's gonna be almost like a straight shot with a little bit of ante, but you could go flick as well. You could see Will did left backhand. Quinn's going sidearm. That's money. I think that's gonna be right there. You wanna push the fence back there. That yard is an electrical yard, but it's really hard to get into it to go OB, so you don't have to worry about that. That's an ace run, I would say. That was pretty. That was looking pretty good. He might be deep though. Ryan gonna go to the same thing. He's really gonna want that thing to flip over right now. But if it floats down, that's there's OB on the left. You can see that guardrail, the chain link. That's all OB if you're past that. So you're gonna want to make sure you're turning something over. Andres go sidearm or go sidearm because that's gonna completely take that out of play. That's gonna be pretty close, I would say. Ryan's got a big, he's got a good uh, shadow jump putt. I'm liking what I'm seeing from him. Dustin always with the good putt. Ah. Just a little left. Quinn gonna nub it in. Or, yeah, he is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's just say he's nubbing them all in at this point. Andres. Good putt, good birdie. Well, to stay on track here. Nice, good birdie. Dustin with the par. Ryan with the par. Yeah, you can see that electrical field there. We actually were gonna do, Jason was talking about doing drones, but unfortunately the plane route, the takeoff and land is in Flying a drone is impossible because of the, the airport that's close there, but. This one is up on the hill. This is really tough. Quinn is gonna lace it right through the middle. I saw the shot walking down. That was a really, really good shot. It's gonna be up on that hill. Backhand turnover is the ideal play. Andre's just a little short. It's tough to get up there. It says it plays 380, but with the uphill, I would say it plays 4, 420. Dustin's a little low. Brian gonna go back in as well. You don't wanna hit that tree right there. It's hard because you wanna get close to it though if you're gonna take that right inside gap. So it's up on the hill here. Basically right there. That looked like a really good upshot. Good upshot, Ryan. Dustin's gonna have almost kind of the same thing, but he's going backhand. Turnover, preferred shot. Nice shot. 
That was looking good. If you're on this hillside, you could have some weird footing, which is frustrating, but... Andres says, no problem. I can see Ryan's dad there. What a stud. That was Will's birdie putt. Wow. Good drive, Will. Ryan for par. Look, Quinn hasn't even putted yet. I think that's his driver right there on the ground. That's crazy. Good putt. Good save. Yeah, that was really a save. Par. Wow, Quinn's going to go uh, put him one back right now with that birdie. That's an excellent birdie. I'm going to vouch to say that he was the only birdie on that hole. Yep. Yeah, that's a tough one. That's crazy. Good birdie, Quinn. He's gonna start off, start us off now with that bird. Hole 12, part three, 312. That's what I was gonna say the shot is right there. It's gonna be a hyzer flip up mid range, or you could go sidearm flex around that tree. It's really hard to get it to flip up and go straight through that gap. It's a tough shot right here on hole 12 for the C position. Like I said, Andres is playing this course blind, so he's figuring it out as he's going. That's going to be a little left. Yeah, like he said, he went to the wrong basket because there's a basket over there. Another position. You want it to flip up more. Let's see if Dustin can get it. That's the flip up, but a little bit too low. You could get skip down there, but there's a lot of rocks. This trucky course will beat your discs up. So, if you need stuff to get flippy, come to this course. Here's Will outside going first. Shuttle jump. A little low. A trace for birdie. He's got that fast spin putt, so I think he's good from outside. Just a little low for both of them there. Dustin, too. He's got that silky spin. Like it's nothing. Ay, ay, ay. Good putt, D. Quinn. To stay on track. Here you go, folks. Ties it up. We got ourselves a game. And Ryan taps in for par. Will's gonna tap in for par. And we're moving on to hole 13. This is a tough, tough hole. 391. Quinn does like to go this turnover backhand route, which I've seen done before. You could see me over there looking at it. He was close. He hit a tree, actually, but without that tree, it was going to be money. Not People also like to try to get around that big tree, like Dustin almost just did, and it is hard. It is a pump. You need to get it high enough to fade in left far enough to have a putt at the basket. Will gets caught up. I think he might have wanted to go around it, too. Andres goes sidearm. He has a huge sidearm, like I've said before. This was actually looking really good, too, because I was watching him. And he pumps it. I'm interested to see what kind of look he has from over there. It's not a bad play at all. It's really hard to get the birdie on this. You can see Donner Creek Brewing sponsored... Uh, sponsored this uh this tournament so shout out all the sponsorship this weekend we got a lot of them ashley really worked hard for these sponsorships oh baobab good run will good run this is a tough spot to be where dustin is if you try to get around that tree you could get stuck in this spot which it's not easy we'll see how that looks andres with the chop a little low. Good layup, though. So that's where Quinn ended up with that backhand turnover. 
about basket deep, but just to the left. Ah, he got chicken foot. Ryan. Oh. Dang. Dustin does not like that. That's the second time that's happened to him. Maybe even more. Quinn, is he going to nub it in? No, he likes to change this time. Good par. Wolf a par. Yep. Good up, Will. That was a good run, too, for the bird. I think. Oh, yeah. Wow, that was Ryan's birdie putt. I didn't see that. That's a stud of a putt that he had for that. And Dustin with a double. It's all good, kid. It's a tough hole. On to hole 14. Quinn's going to start us off with a big bomb. You're going to want that to flip a little bit more. It's Basically, you want to get around all those trees. He's going to fade. He hits and probably drops. You're going to want to get a big turnover and push hold right to then fade back left to have a look at this one. It's really tough. Andres is going to go sidearm in. You got to have a big sidearm for this shot. I think that held all the way left. Wow, yeah, nine, he went to maybe, yeah, 10's tee box, wow. That's that's more the shot you want right there. Nice. He might have a, yeah, he's going to have a look at that one. Well, maybe a little lower to penetrate, but see that, how he's going to hold that? It's just going to want to work its way back at some point. That's okay, though. Yeah, see, he's over on 10's. Wow. Tens T box. What an up from there. He might give himself a look though. Hmm. Well, with an errant upshot right there. Okay. Will for par. Ah, oh, nasty spit out. He's just going to tap that one out. Sketch with the par. Good butt. Good putt, sketch. Right for par. Yep. Par's okay on this hole. It's a tough one, but, you know, I think you're going to need to be getting this one if you're going to be wanting to chase Will down right now. Bogey for Andres after going all the way to 10's tee box. And Quinn for par. All right. Well, Quinn takes the lead after that. Bogey from Will. Hole 15, a big hyzer. This is on C. That was early. You're going to want to push it up over Gale's tree, we call that one. Push up over that tree and fade hard left. Probably throw in like a Firebird, an Onyx. I don't know. It's really not that far. You could, you could get there with a Firebird. You just want to get the right height and the right push past those trees. Ryan rolls out to the right there. Which is common. There's a hillside, obviously, and it's going to be pushing those discs out. Dustin gets the height on it. That's going to be a little low from the basket, but he's going to have a putt up at it if he didn't hit anything. You can see some more sponsorships, Rayleigh's and Sun King there. Shout out Rayleigh's. Shout out Sun King. Will goes up and over. Gets clean. That was a great shot. He's going to have a good look at it. Andres is going to want to just follow that same shot right there. 
penetrate high and up. A little low. He's going to have a look up at it, but it's probably going to be about 50 uphill. Ryan with the flex forehand. Quinn is just going to really want to lay up. He's going to want to play smart right now. He doesn't want to do anything too fancy with one ahead. With only three holes to go. Andres a little early. Sketch, yeah. See, he had a money drive. This is for a bird. That is so nasty. Oh, there's just nothing you could do. Quinn for par. You got uh, Quinn's dad on his bag. Not really, but it's Travis. Shout out, Travis. Someone on my card actually said, shout out Quinn's dad on, his, on the bag. And I, from afar, with the shirt and the hat, I really did think it was Quinn's dad. But then he got a little closer and, uh, no, it's just Travis. He came to support his guy. Will explaining where the basket is here to the, to the non-locals. 16C. Way left, 328. Up and over this tree. Will's really going to want to get this one right here going into these next two holes. Pushed it a little far. Short? Yeah. Short, far. Same, same. Yeah, Quinn. Goes up, goes over, gets left. I really like that. Yeah. Think it was too far left? I don't know, the wind caught that morning. It looked perfect. <laughs> that did look pretty perfect. Ryan's going to kind of want to do the same thing. I almost like that a little bit better, though, because it's not going to be as far left. I think he's going to like that. Nice right, sketch. Let's go, son. Uh, that's going to push a little left, but he got it up. Yeah, real left. You want to penetrate up over that tree and then start working left. You do definitely want to get some, some penetration out of the hand. Andre's got a little swagger to him. I like it. Oh. That's not the swagger we like, though. Held on to that one a little long. He's got a tough forehand flex. Up and over. Wow, I think he got right there. Yeah, you can see his disc right over there by the basket. Great upshot, Andres. Good save. That's not an easy shot. Will for birdie. Ooh, good bid. Sketch for birdie. Laser, a little low. He's all over that basket, man. All right. Quinn from just outside. Oh. Let's it go a little early. Doesn't fully commit. That's going to keep him tied. Yeah, that one caught. See, these baskets sometimes like to catch discs. Not a lot, though. You got one one set of chains on these things. Old school. Got some tap-ins here. Will for par. 
Andres for a sick par save. Sketch for par. Quinn for par. Tie ball game going into the 17. Two more holes left. All righty. Time to focus up, kids. This hole. 17, part three, 252. You want to get it up high, straight, straight down the gap. It's uphill, so you want to get some height on it. Will with a little bit of a stumble there. If you finish on that right side, though, you could have a putt still. So I'm interested to see if he has a look. There's some little pines up there, which are frustrating if you're behind them. Quinn's going to want to just get it straight up the gut. Let's look at money. Oh, it gets a little bit of a of a tree kick, but he's, he's still going to be up there. They might both have birdie looks right now, which is a big deal. Going into the second to last hole. Dustin, beautiful looking shot. 100%. When Dustin's in flow, that kid is dangerous. Andres, swagger, swag falcon here. Oh, I keep jinxing him with his swagger talk. Trying to find the basket here. It's right behind that tree. Looks like he might go thumber. Just to kind of lay it on the ground. A little early. If he's not too much in those pines, he's gonna have a putt. It's not gonna be a comfortable one though. I'm at like 25. A little low. Andre's falling off the pace just a little bit. Ryan for the bird. Moves to straddle and cans it. Good putt, Ryan. Let's go, kid. He's still got something to play for right now. I mean, he's, he's 21, one hole to go. And Alex at this point is right on his tail. So Ryan's fighting for third place right now. He's going to want to make sure he has a good last hole. Dustin with a good bird, takes him to 18. Alex at this point is right on Ryan's tail. So I don't know if you're looking at scores yet. Will, good, pressure putt. That brings him to 24 to put a little bit of pressure on Quinn's putt. Will said he was 25, so Quinn's gotta be inside that. Andres taps out his bogey, a little frustration there. Nice. Tie game going to the last hole, folks. Good putt right there, Quinn. Those can get a little spicy. See that right hand sidearm from Ryan right there. That was a good shot. It's actually a really good, it's a dinker hole. It's really tough. It's very touchy for a last hole tie ball game finisher. Will's gonna go left forehand flex, which I like it. It's gonna open up the gap more for him. Most important shot of the tournament right here. I think he likes it. Quinn's gonna get a look at where it is, taking his time. He's gonna wanna just get himself a look. That looks really, really good. My only worry is that it carried too much. It gets, it gets steep down there. So if it's going right and working right, it's not coming back. 
You could hear that hit that rock. There is a big rock there. I've played this course over hundreds of times, and this hole is never easy. And I don't understand why. Andres with the backhand turnover as well. That's looking saucy. Just like that, working downhill, let it land on the ground and let it just skip up there. That's the play. Dustin from downtown. Good layup, D. All right. Quinn's gonna have to make this, I think. Oh, a little low. See, that was my worry of it carrying a little bit too far. Where's Will? Wow. Will puts it right there for the W. By one. Like he says, you're not having fun if you don't win by one. Quinn's going to spike it in. Yeah. Good playing, Quinn. And I think this right here, this bird, ties Ryan for third place, which is huge. That's amazing. Dustin with the par. And Andres with the birdie under the basket. Good shot. Way to end it, kid. All right, congratulations, Will. I'm not surprised. The kid's been shooting lights out lately. We got uh, we got the final here, folks. Will Ling with a 25 down overall. Four down on the round, it was enough to do it. Four down was enough for him. Walks away with 415 bucks. That's gonna pay for some diapers for the baby. Quinn, eight down, great shooting. That's the hot round of the day. That's over a thousand rate around for sure, a hundred percent on that on that layout. Thank you so much. All right, guys, we'll see you next time. Peace.